Yo, what is up, everybody? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, y'all. It's LT the God. And today, today, 2K finally released some type of news. Okay. All right. Now, what we got today is the soundtrack for NBA 2K18. All right. Now, Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the tracks. I'm going to get my thoughts and opinions on what I think of the list. And whether or not this soundtrack has the potential to be one of the best in the 2K series, all right? All right, y'all. So the first track we got on the soundtrack is Feel So Good by Mace off the Harlem World album. This song is fire, bro. All right. If you haven't heard this already, you're probably a little bit younger. This song came out, like, late. 1990s early 2000s back when new york was like dominant in the music game but this is a really good song so it's, it's the song makes you feel good it's a feel good song all right it's oh, just just a classic record in my opinion when it comes to new york music and mace this is like one of his best songs next up we got gonna make you sweat by cnc music factory this is the song that was in Space Jam for those of y'all who saw it. I said, everybody dance now. You know what I'm saying? That's a song from Space Jam. If you've seen the movie, you already know what I'm talking about. So, really don't need to say much there. Next up is Hip Hop Parade by Naughty by Nature. This is another classic, like, uh, early hip hop song. This is a song, I think, that was in uh, NBA Street. I don't know which one, whether it was volume one or volume two, but it'd be like hip hop hooray. Oh, hey, oh. This is another classic hip hop song. It's really, it's bringing hip hop back to the roots. You know what I'm saying? It has, it, it doesn't sound like anything you hear on the radio today. This is a classic record, a good hip hop song, a good basketball song in itself, all right? Next up, we got I Can't Drive 55 by Sammy Hag Hagger. Never heard of the guy before in my life, okay? Never heard of him before. This is more of a rock song. I mean, this is probably this is probably like good menu music if you like just loading up the game. Like this is probably like a good first song or some shit like that. Other than that, me personally, I can't see myself listening to this anymore, okay? Now next up we got Jungle by X Ambassadors and Jamie and Commons. I've never heard this song before until today. It's a cool song. That's a nice little bass to it and whatnot. It's a, like a a pump. It's like a song to pump you up more than anything. To get you hyped before the game. Or this is like a good song for like like a mixtape. Like a basketball mixtape. This is a good song for that. It's a decent song. It's more like a rock, rock type song in my opinion. Pop type song. I don't know. It's not hip hop though. But it is one of those songs to get you hyped before a game for sure though. Next up, we got Pour Some Sugar On Me by Def Leppard. Once again, this is a song I've never heard before. It's a rock type song. I mean, what more can I say? It's a lot of guitars in it and stuff. So, for all you fans of rock music, you'll probably enjoy this song a lot more than I will. I'm not going to speak badly on it because, you know, I've never heard it before until today. I'm not a big rock fan, but this just is not a song for me. Some of y'all might like it though, right? Coming in at number seven, we got Put Your Hands Where Your Eyes Can See by Busta Rhymes. This is another early hip-hop classic, like early 2000s. All right, this is one of the songs that got Busta Rhymes hot, in my opinion. I still remember hearing this song when I was a kid. Put your hands where my eyes can see. That that song, if y'all don't know, it's that song. But this is a good, this is a, a good song once again, a good hip-hop song. It don't sound like nothing that's being played today. It's a decent song, though. I, I like it. I fuck with it. Next song up is Shook Ones Part 2. Rest in peace, Prodigy, once again. Rest in peace of Prodigy. I'm glad 2K did this. I don't know if they did it because of the, everything that happened with Prodigy as of late, but if they did, this is a very good gesture because if you guys don't know, like I said, R.I.P. Peter Prodigy, he passed away not too long ago. You know, he was battling some things uh, like sickle cell. He had that for like a few years now, like a long time. Like, Around the 90s, that stuff came out because of, the, you know, the beef with Tupac and Biggie. But this is a classic song in itself, though, okay? You heard this song, too, if you watched 8 Mile when they were battling at the end. 
when Eminem was like, uh, fuck, when he was when he was battling Papa Doc, it's when you heard this song. Or they might have played this song the whole time he was battling. But anyways, if you saw 8 Mile, this is where you heard, you heard this song in that movie at the end when Eminem was battling. But this is a classic song, man. This is a classic hip-hop song. A lot of people know about the song. A lot of people know about the beat. It's just a classic song. So let's go ahead and move on real quick. Coming in at number nine, we got Serious by the Alan Parsons Project. Never heard this song before until today. And, well, you know what? I lied. I did hear this song before. This is um, this is the song that the Chicago Bulls used to play when Mike was playing uh, during the introductions and shit. Or this was the song that you heard at the beginning of the NBA 2K11 when Michael Jordan was running out the tunnel. This is that song. So yeah, a lot of y'all probably already heard this song, and 2K decided to bring it back for whatever reason. For some, they always do this though. They always bring back songs they've had on previous soundtracks. They always do this shit. So this is just like, uh, yeah, just intro music for lineups, pretty much. But it's it's a classic if you if you are a basketball fan. A lot of people know this song, so they might not know the name of it, but when it comes on, you know what song it is. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. Now this is probably one of my favorite tracks on this whole soundtrack, all right? This is So Fresh and So Clean by Outkast. If you are a hip hop head, you've already heard this song before. Y'all know how I go. No, tell me, I'm just so fresh and so fresh and so clean, clean. You know what I'm saying? This is just one of those classic songs that used to come on the radios like the early and mid 2000s. It might have been even early 1990s. I'm not too sure, but I remember as a kid hearing this around the early 2000s. So. I'm going to go ahead with that. This is a very old song. Well, not too old, but this is a relatively old song. Classic song about a great group, Outkast. Unfortunately, ain't no cuss words in it. I know 2K had it, you know, bring the radio mix and whatnot, but sometimes I wish they would just play the music, man. Just let the music ride out, curse words and all. Give us the option to turn the cuss words off or not. You know what I'm saying? Give us both edits. Because... While a lot of people that play 2K, like 2K is rated E, or sometimes it might be rated E plus 10 or some shit like that because of the cuss words. But man, a lot of us that play 2K are adults too, bro. Like, we want to hear the music. Like, I like to hear the music with the cussing. I can't help it, okay? Because when I'm singing along, I'm singing the cuss words. I'm not trying to edit myself out. But anyways, I was just rambling on. So Fresh and So Clean is a great song, man. I really enjoy listening to this song to this day. Like, this is just a timeless classic. It never gets old to me. The lyrics is fire. The beat is flames. And this is just a great song to have on the 2K soundtrack, in my opinion. All right. So, let's go ahead and move on. Next up at 11, we got The Walker by Fitz and Tantrums. Oh, Fitz, Fitz and the Tantrums. Excuse me for butchering your name. All right. I feel like I've heard this song before. I think this is a, a song, once again, that was on a previous 2K game. That they decided to bring back and I mean I don't have a problem with the song it's not necessarily my type of music like you know I'm a hip-hop guy I listen to hip-hop and rap this is more so like a pop type music rock type music stuff like that so ain't too much for me to talk about in that song so moving on to the next one we got coming in at 12 the zoo by scorpions this is another rock song can't really comment too much on it because I don't listen to this type of music so I'm just going on to the next one Next up at 13, we got They Reminisce Over You by Pete Rock and CL Smooth. Now, Pete Rock, he's a he's a very respected producer from New York. Pretty sure he's from New York. Yeah, he's from New York. He's very respected. This type of song is going to have a lot of uh, New York elements in it. This is another song that was in, I think it might have been in the older 2K game, but it was definitely in a NBA Street game for sure. I've heard this song before numerous times, and I'm pretty sure I heard it in, I, I know for a fact I heard it in NBA Street, NBA Street for sure. I'm not too sure if I heard it in another 2K, I'm pretty sure, but I'm positive I heard it in NBA Street. But this is just another classic 90s type hip hop record with the, with, it got like a jazzy type sound to it with the, I don't know if that's a trumpet or a trombone or some shit like that, but I know it's a, a brass instrument. I know that for a fact it just plays over in the background, but this is another classic hip hop song. Once again, this is this is just a great. This is great in my opinion to have on any type of basketball soundtrack. But moving on to the next song, we got coming in at 14, "Victory" by Diddy, Busta Rhymes, and Big. Now this song 
is Complete Flames, bro. If you heard this song before, this song it's, it's definitely old as you possibly. I mean, you should know it is old. It came out. This is after Biggie had passed. All right, but this song is old. It's a classic, though. I mean, I've heard this song numerous times. Along with that, if you guys haven't heard Lloyd Banks rap over this beat, you should probably look it up on YouTube. It's Complete Flames. This song is great, though. This is a great song to have for a soundtrack once again, for a basketball soundtrack, for a basketball soundtrack. It's a great song. Everyone who loves hip-hop or listens to hip-hop has probably heard this song before. If you are an adult, you should definitely have heard this song before. And Biggie just murders the track, all right? But, yo, let's go on to the next one. And coming in at 15, we got 93 Till Infinity. Uh, Another classic hip-hop track. It's so many classics on this soundtrack. I love it, man. A lot of the, the a lot of the hip hop on this song is like a lot of it is older. Like it don't sound like none of the modern stuff you hear today. None of that trash music you hear today. This '93 to Infinity is like I said, it's another classic hip hop record by Soldier Mischief. A lot of people know about this song if you a hip hop head. It's just a classic, bro. It's a classic smooth song. So ain't that much for me to say about it. Coming in at 16, All of Me featuring Logic and Roses. Not a big Logic fan, never have been. I'm not going to sit here and gas him up like I listen to the guy. He's 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 not all that to me. You know what I'm saying? He's not all that to me. The song itself, though, I really like the chorus. I ain't going to hold you up. I really like the chorus. It's a, it's a lady singing in it. I like the chorus. Other than that, I don't even fuck about this song, so we can go ahead and move on. Coming in at 17, Am I Wrong? By Anderson, Pat, Schoolboy Q. Now, this is a real laid back track in my opinion. Real smooth song. This is just like, once again, some menu chilling music. This is not something I want to hear while I'm playing the game, though. Like when I'm going up against somebody, I'm not trying to listen to this song. This is a song, like I said, for menus or if you're just in a, in a practice gym getting up shots. That's the only time I would want to hear this music because this music don't do nothing for me. It really don't. I probably wouldn't even listen to this if I was in the car, in all honesty. It's a decent song, though. It's just not my type of music. So I wouldn't be listening to this in the, in the car. But if you like Schoolboy Q or Anderson Pat, I definitely suggest you check this song out. Like, these are some of my opinions, man. So if I don't like a song, that doesn't necessarily mean it's trash. It just is not my type of music. And this is a good example of that. The song isn't bad. It's just not my type of music. So moving on to number 18, we got Bird Watching by The Shelters. This is another rock type record. Really ain't much for me to say because I'm not really a rock fan. If you're a rock fan, you should probably check this out yourself and judge for that. Like I said, I'm not going to sit here and bash your song. Like The song is cool, but it's just not my genre of music. So I can't see myself really caring too much about this song. I'll probably mute the song when I play 2K anyways. So coming in at 19, we got Can't Have by Pitbull, Stephen A. Clark, and Ape Drums. I remember Pitbull. I used to mess with a lot of his music when I was younger. Well, I can't even say a lot of music. I used to listen. I used to listen to the radio when I was younger, and his songs used to come on. I used to fuck with him. But now that I'm older, I got my, like a certain type of music I like, and Pitbull does not make that, unfortunately. Now, like I said before, that does not mean the song is bad. It's just it's not my it's not my preference. The song is cool though for people who like like pop music. Though this is like a pop song more than anything. So if you like pop music, I suggest you go ahead and try this out, or at least give it a listen. Next up is coming out strong by Future in the weekend. Now, Future, I mess with Future like some of his songs. I'm not the biggest Future fan though. In the weekend, he makes he makes decent songs. I can't say he's bad. So a lot of his songs are just hit or miss, in my opinion. With me. I mean, this song is real laid back though. This song is really laid back. It's a chill song. It's not one of like Future's turn up songs, so don't be expecting that. But it's a decent song overall. Coming up at 21, we got Conrad Tokyo by A Tribe Called Quest. Now, a lot of people might not even know about A Tribe Called Quest. This is a like an older hip-hop group. And then this song itself, it's not for me. It's a hip-hop song, but it's not for me. I'm not, I'm not the biggest Tribe Called Quest fan. I'll tell you that right now. I mean, a lot of their stuff is... For like people that are way older than me, listen to. I've never been a fan of Tribe Called Quest. I don't mean I want, I, you know, I don't, I respect their music. It's just not my type of music. 
But it is hip hop once again. I'm definitely giving it a listen. I mean, I probably have to dive deeper into it because they're one of those groups that their music has so much meaning that you gotta listen to it multiple times to understand what it is. But the song just isn't for me as of right now. All right, so let's go on to the next one. Coming in at 22, we got Deep In Taro Remix. Now this song, this is like kind of it's kind of like a sing song song, like an R&B type deal with some pop elements. I guess a lot. Yeah, I would say it's, it's a it's a it's a a mix between R and B and pop because there's a lot of singing going on, but the beat is kind of up tempo. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can have that. I'm not really into that. So let's go on to the next song. Coming in at 23, we got "Do What I Want" by Lil Ver Lil Uzi Vert. Excuse me, I'm gonna butcher his name. A lot of y'all include. Well, the reason why I know about the song because Russell Westbrook. All right, I don't give a fuck about a Uzi Vert. I don't listen to his music. But I know about this song because this nigga Russell Westbrook was dancing to the shit after KD. I got the fuck up out of OKC. This song is, I mean, it's, it's a hype song. More so because of the, the tempo. I don't give a fuck about the lyrics. The chorus is pretty self-explanatory. But the, I'm not trying to hear Lil Uzi Vert rap. All right? I ain't even going to hold you up. Not a fan of him. But shout out to Russ. This is his jam. So he get the utmost respect for me. Moving on to number 24. We got Don't Threaten Me With A Good Time by Panic at the disco. Now I've heard of this group before. Alright. I've definitely heard of this group before. I don't necessarily listen to their music though, but I've definitely heard of them before. They make once again like pop rock music. Alright. Well this song is more so of a pop rock song, like a mixture between the two. It's a, I don't know, it's just not for me. I'm not even gonna hold you up. It's not for me. I'm not gonna sit here and try to make it seem like I fuck with it when I don't. Alright. So next up we got Henny Things Possible Henny Things Possible by Vintage Lee. I'ma keep it real with y'all. This shit is ass. This shit is ass. I don't wanna say that, but like with a with a title like this, Henny Things Possible, I already had a feeling of what this shit was gonna be about. This shit is corny though. So we can move on to the next one. Coming at 26. Y'all already know about this song, Humble by Kendrick Lamar. Y'all already know this song is lit, bro. I ain't even got I ain't got to say too much about it. Everybody fucking with this song. Everybody been eating syrup sandwiches for some reason nowadays, but fuck it. Everybody fucking with this song. Everybody fucking with syrup sandwiches, all right? So everybody, let's move on to the next song. Next up, we got No The Ledge by Eric B and Rakim. This is another very early hip hop group. No, excuse me. When I just say very early, for them, I mean like the 90s. 90s, they were popping, bro. They was really popping in the 90s. This song in particular, though, y'all probably ain't never seen the movie, though. But this song is actually, they had this in Juice. You know, the movie with Tupac, Omar Epps, you know, them guys. They This song was in that movie. So if you heard of Juice, you probably heard this song. They be like, knocking niggas off, knocking niggas out. Like that song. That's a It's a, it's a real old song. Like, that song came out before I was even born. Because the movie was out before I was born. So, this song is cold, though. I fuck with it heavy. It's a good, it's, it's definitely a, one of the better songs that you can have on this on this soundtrack. I'm fucking with it heavy, though. But let's go on to the next song. Coming in at 28, we got Living Like Cali by Cousin Steez. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not the, uh, I'm not the biggest fan fan of Cousin Steez. At first I thought it said Capital Steez. I'm like, what? But it should say Cousin Steez. This is a real slow song. Half the time I couldn't even understand what he was saying. So I ain't really going to say too much about this song. I mean, if you fans of him, by all means, give it a listen. But for me, this he getting the mute button. Easy. Next up, we got Nas is Light. This is a classic Nas song for all the Nas fans. This is a great song. I love the lyrics. I love the beat. I'm glad they put it in the game. This is another song. I'm a bump. I'm on playing the game for sure. I'm, I, I really like it though, man. I really do. So, I mean, any Nas fan will appreciate this record. If you were, if you a hip hop head, and you've never heard this song, it's something wrong with you. Especially if you're an adult, it's something wrong with. This is a classic Nas record. So, with that being said, we can move on to the next song real quick. 
Next up, we got No Lie by Sean Paul and Dua Lipa. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I'm kind of, I'm probably gonna butcher it. You know, I really apologize for that. This is another like pop song, and Sean Paul speaking a little bit of Spanish and shit. So it really ain't too much for me to say about that. It's it's a good. Let me put it this way: this song will be a, like a really good. Once again, a song to start the game off with, like the menus. I'm not about to sit here in the practice and shoot enough shots with this song playing in the background. So this song will definitely get the mute button by me. Coming in at 31, we got Portland by Drake, Quavo, and Travis Scott. I mean, a lot of people already heard this song anyways, if you heard More Life. I mean, I'm not a big Drake fan. I don't really care for Quavo or Travis Scott. But for those of you who, you know, fuck with them, y'all like this song for sure. And y'all probably already heard this song, so... The song is definitely on the soundtrack, so y'all should be happy and go ahead and check that out, all right? Coming in at 32, we got Shock Horror by Shy Love and Jones. I don't know if it's two different people or what, but this is another, like, up-tempo. I don't know if you would call this pop, though, but it's an up-tempo song. I low-key mess with this song. I ain't gonna hold you up. I don't know what the hell they be saying in the song, but I fuck with it, though. It's like they be saying some shaka a lot. I don't know, but I fuck with the song. This this song is definitely gonna stay on the playlist for me. Coming in at thirty three, we got Slam by Onyx. I've never heard this song. I know who Onyx is. I've never heard this song though. Onyx is another hip hop group with uh, what's his name? Sticky Fingers and fuck. What's the other dude name? You know what? I lied. I did hear this song before. I just thought about it. I was like, wait a minute. Slam. Yeah, I've heard this song before. This is another song that I'm, I'm pretty sure was NBA Street. This is an old hip hop song. It go like, slam. Da, 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 da. It's like one of those. It's, it's, <clears throat> excuse me. It's that song if you haven't heard it already. I fuck with the song though. I really do. But I'm trying to figure out who's the other dude that Onyx my size. Sticky Fingers. It's the bald headed nigga, dog. With the, with the raspy ass voice. I know this nigga name. I know this nigga name, bro. I don't know if his name is Tretch or what, but I know it's, I, I know what the fuck his name is. I just cannot think about it. But yeah, this song is cool. This is a classic hip-hop song, NBA song. Definitely give it a listen, man. Next up, we got Stand Back by PNB Rock and Boogie. I mean, and Boogie. And A Boogie with the hoodie. This song is cool in my honest opinion. I think this song will get annoying by like the seventh listen though. I mean, A Boogie killed it as you all know. PNB Rock was pretty much just there. Alright, I'm just keeping it real. He was just there. So, I mean, ain't too much for me to say about this song. This is a, a pretty recent song. You know, if y'all mess with either artist, I probably already heard it anyway. So let's go on to the next song. Coming in at 35, we got Victory, which is very ironic. 35 is KD's number, you know what I'm saying? But, it's whatever. This is by Joey Badass. You know, he's a hip-hop artist. He, he kind of embraces that uh, older New York sound. This song is it's kind of ironic. I got two Victory songs on here, but... This song is alright. I'm not the biggest Joey Badass fan. At least of this song, at least. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to give it the mute treatment, though, because I'm going to probably have to give it a few more listens, man. But let's go on to the next song. Now, next up is, nigga, I don't know how to pronounce that first one. Wasatach Front? Wasatch Front? Whatever, dog. Sasquatch? I don't know how to pronounce that word, dog. But something Front by Dame Dollar, a.k.a. Damian Lilly, bro. Dog, this shit fire. I ain't going to hold you up. Like, Dame is cool on the, on the mic, dog. The song kind of long as shit, though. I'm not going to lie. Four minutes and 25 seconds is a little bit longer than what I'm used to. Because nowadays, songs be like around 3.30. Between 2.30 and 3.30. Some songs even less than two minutes, which is crazy to me. The song cool, though. As you, I mean, if you haven't heard Damien Lillard rap, though, like, you kind of out of the loop. Like, y'all know what you've been doing. Dame been on Sway. He been freestyling there. I think he dropped an album recently. The letter O. Like, the nigga got songs out there for y'all to listen to. 
So, if y'all haven't heard Damien Lillard rap, y'all niggas sleeping on the right. I need to check out this song for sure. Coming in at 37, we got Wrote My Way Out featuring Nas, Dave East, Lynn Manuel, Miranda, and Aloe Black. Uh, Dave East on this bitch, though. I fuck with Dave East heavy. All right, I'm hoping he's fast. Especially with a song with Nas. One of his mentors, one of the guys he look up to. Like, Davies, you can't let Nas outrap you on the song. You can't. I know Ro Ross, bro. I know Nas is a great. I know. You can't let this nigga outrap you, though. But I have heard this song just one time through. I just listened to the song one time through. So I wasn't really paying attention to the lyrics. I was just trying to judge on whether or not I can... Keep the song on the playlist. Because I already have an idea of what all songs is I'm keeping. Once the game come out. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping this song. I'm going to give it a few more listens though before I give the final verdict of whether or not Davies I'll rap this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But the song is dope. I fuck with it. I, I think the, I think this song. I mean, if y'all ain't heard Davies yet, y'all should definitely get it. So listen as well as check out his mixtape. The boy can rap. He's on a freshman cover last year. So the nigga, the nigga is one of the only niggas on, the, on that freshman list that can actually rap. So y'all need to check him out for sure. But enough of me talking. Let's get to the next song, man. Next up, coming in at 38, we got Hush by Linda Lynn. What kind of name is that? But yeah, it's about Linda Lynn. Another, like, pop song. Really not going to get to this too much of a list when I get to game. So we can go on to the next song. Next up, we got Aurora by R.L. Grind. And once again... This is like a pop song, so I don't really have much to say about this. So let's go on to the next one. Next up is 1984 by Salmo. This is like some different level type, not different level, different language type shit. I don't know what he's saying. So I can't really give my honest opinion on the song. You know, it's it's, it's, a, it's a cool listen to, but I don't know what he's saying, so I'm probably not going to keep it. Next up is 4... Varetes, I don't know. I don't know if that's Spanish. I don't know if that's French or what. But I can tell you right now, it won't be getting no. It won't be getting no play. The beat fire though. If you listen to this song, the beat is fucking fire. But the lyrics, I don't know what you're saying, brother. I don't know what you're saying. His name is Take a Mic, which is crazy to me. That's a verb. What the hell? But his name is in English, but the song is in a whole different language. They played me. 2K, you played me. So we got to go to the next song, all right? Come in at number 42. Number 42. This is a a hit by Shakira. All right, I like, Sha I like Shakira. You know, them hips don't lie. You know what I'm saying? They, they just don't lie. But I don't know what's to be said in this song once again. So I can't even, I can't even get, let y'all know. Because I don't know. This is some old Spanish type music. You know, if you like Spanish music, check this out for sure. But I, I don't know what's being said. So I can't even tell you what I think of the song. The song's up tempo, though. You can dance to it. Shake your hips to it. But that's about it for me. So let's go to the next song, man. Next song is called Cult by Emus Killer. The song come on real cool. I ain't going to hold you up. The song come on real cool. But it's another song where it's in a different language and I don't know what's being said. So I got to go to the next song, man. Coming in at number 44 is Feel It. Yo, I think this is another song where... You know what? Nah, they speak English on this song. It's an up-tempo song for sure. It's like a party song more than anything. Like You, you put this song on at parties and stuff like that, so... If you want that type of music, by all means, check this song out. This song getting muted for me, though, for sure. Next up, we got Fever by Roosevelt. Or Roosevelt, Roosevelt, whatever you want to call it. I don't even think this song got words. Or if it, I mean, it got minimal words. It's more so you just listen to the beat. So, ain't too much to say about that song. I like, the beat's cool, though. The beat's real laid back. But moving on to number 46, we got Human by Rag and Bone Man. This song is cool. Yeah, this song is cool. I ain't even gonna hold you up. If you if you hear me pausing because I'm listening to it right now. 
This is so I can give y'all an idea of what's being heard and shit like that. It's an up tempo song, for sure. I, I can hardly understand what's being said. So I don't. This 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 song might not get the mute treatment though, cause it got a nice little beat to it. I can bob to it, shit like that. But moving on to the next song, coming in at forty seven, we got Tokyo Drift by Woody Smalls. This is like a low key slow track. I've never heard of Woody Smalls in my life. This is low key like some pop rap, like Drake type music. Like if you like Drake. And he's like pop music. You'll probably fuck with this song in all honesty. But I don't. So let's move on to the next song. Coming in at 48, the final song on the NBA 2K18 soundtrack is You Don't by Double K. This is another like different language song. It's like a pop rap though. Like You can tell these niggas trying to rap, but in a different language. Just because of the way they, you know, saying they shit. It sounded like you're trying to say it with some type of aggression. You know what I'm saying? So, that wraps it up, though, for this whole little soundtrack shit. I know this shit is hella long. All right? I wish I could. I will play the music for y'all, but I ain't trying to get my shit claimed at all. All right? This shit long as shit, though. But, hey, I went through every song. I gave y'all my little input and whatever. So, if y'all fucking with the video, by all means, hit the like button for me one time and show some love and support. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right now and hit the bell. Because I'm going to be posting 2K news as frequent as it drops. I'm going to try to get that shit out if I ain't doing shit else, all right? And I'm very busy. I, I can't be on this YouTube shit all the time. But if y'all subscribe to me and start fucking with me, I could be on this YouTube shit a lot more than I am right now. So do that for me, please. And, and y'all will get notified when I'm posting videos and things of that nature. And... If y'all can, get a soundtrack a listen and comment below what y'all think of the soundtrack, all right? I'm going to leave a link in the description to the soundtrack on Spotify so y'all can check it out. It's completely free. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead, check it out. Give me y'all thoughts. Like I said, th this soundtrack overall, in my opinion, got a lot of heat. There's a lot of songs on here that I really fuck with. I'm going to really keep on the playlist or at least try to, all right? It's a lot of hip-hop on here. I'm a big hip-hop fan. So I got to keep that stuff on here. And there's some songs that wasn't even hip-hop that I like. So those might even be on there too. You know what I'm saying? But yo, that's enough of me talking. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I will see y'all next time. All right? Peace.